Mm. Hey guys, how you doing? This is Samuel here, and we have Pastor Paul here, and happy Rosh Hashanah to you people out there. Yeah, blessings to everyone Amen. out there. Hallelujah. First of all, we just like to say, bless you Israel, yes. bless you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, yes. bless your crops, bless the old people, bless the young people, bless the new births. At, we bless the middle age. We bless mm. the teenagers. We bless Israel's uh, yes. finances. We bless your 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 your, uh, your weather. We bless anything that that you touch with your hands. We ask that the Lord just continue to show because you are the apple of His eye, and you are blessed by the Lord, the Lord God. And I'd like to start out with a Jewish prayer, mm. and this has to do with the, the prayer that's Ooh, called uh, the yes. Rishu. Yes. Uh, forgive me if I'm, I'm miss. Not saying it translating right or saying it wrong. It's Bershat Hashashar. And here it goes. Who made us in his image. And then I'll say it in, in, in Hebrew. And then I'll say it in English. Okay. So if everybody can kind of just repeat with us uh, when we do it. And then here we go. This is called Who made us in his image. Baruch. Baruch. Ata. Ata. Arunai. Arunai. Aloheinu. Eloheinu. Melik. Melik. Ha. Ha. Olam. Olam. Sheasani. Sheasani. Betsamo. Betsamo. What that means in English is, Blessed art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, who made me in his image. So, Father, we thank you for making us in your image. Yes, Lord. We just bless you for that you are the king of the universe, Lord, that you yes. are the true king. You are the holy one. And so the next prayer will say, who made us as we are. And if you can repeat after me, we'll say that. Baruch, Baruch Ata, Ata, Adonai, Adonai Eloheinu, Eloheinu, Malik, Malik Haolam, Haolam, She Asani, she asani Persono. persono. And in English, that means, Blessed art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, who made me according to his will. Mm -hmm. And then we'll finish up with two more. And I like this one. And this one says, um, Who crowns us with glory. And here we go again. Baruch. Baruch. Ata. Ata. Adonai. Adonai. Eloheinu. Eloheinu. Melik. Melik. Ha. Uh, Olam, Olam, Otir, Otir, Israel, Israel, Bitibra, Bitibra. Oh. Oh. And that means, Blessed art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, who crowns Israel with glory. Bitibra, mm. with glory. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. And then we'll finish up with this one, who establishes our steps. Baruch, Baruch, Ata, Ata, Yahweh, Yahweh, Eloheinu, Eloheinu, Melik, Melik, Haolam, Haolam, Hamaliken, Hamaliken, Mitzade, Mitzade, Kibe, Kibe. Yeah. Which means, blessed art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, who establishes the footsteps of men. Mm. You know, brother, you know, I, I read these prayers, and I do this every every Friday with a good friend of mine, and he's going to be bringing up a, a, a website of him, for himself to have me do with the Jewish people and the Jewish uh, traditions and everything. But it, this one's called Bershu HaShashar, and it's a different type of uh, anointing you get as compared when you're reading just regular prayers to God. And the reason I, and not that it's, it, 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 it uh, takes away from the way we're taught to pray, but it just seems like it's so stronger, like the Lord just, mm. just appears so quickly, because Israel is the apple of his eye, and that was the beginning of the language that he first started out, mm. and he started out with his, with his chosen people. Mm. And, you know, I, you know, I know, brother, we had a brother, uh, brother not too long ago come to our church, from L.A., and he was a, a Messianic rabbi. Yeah. And uh, he had asked all the people to come up to again, so the pastor said for them, for him to give a blessing over them. And as they were coming up, I kind of was urged in my spirit to go up, but I didn't because I was in a Jewish descent. Mm -hmm. But as I was sitting there, and I was thinking about that. The Lord says, you know what? You were grafted in through my son. That's right. You were grafted in by his blood. 
So you're a part of this. Don't worry about whether you have to go up in the front or not. Okay. I'm anointing you. I'm putting my spirit upon you. So all of you out there, even though you're not cool. Jewish, you uh, if, if you if you believe in Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, That's right. you're grafted in by the root. That's right. Oh, oh you're grafted oh, in by that oh, root, oh, the That's root right. of God. That's right. He's He's chosen you and grabbed you. He says, Many are called, but few are chosen. Yeah. And He's chosen you out of all the people out there to pull you in and and have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Mm. And we are part of that. So yeah. never think because you're not Jewish that you're not a part of Christ, that you're not a part of the Jewish movement or the Jewish people. Because when you get to heaven, God looks at you saying, hey, I've known you from when you were first born or when you accepted the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You became, uh, you my, chose my apple of my eye. Mm, that's and that's right. the way the Lord looks at us. We, right. We're included. If we're included, we're part of Israel. And, and Israel is the apple of God's eye. And we accept that Jesus is our Savior. You're the apple of his eye today. Mm. And tomorrow, mm. in the future. Mm. You know, just to confirm your word, in Revelation, I believe, and um, forgive me if I'm wrong or whatever, but I believe in New Jerusalem. You know, it says that the, in the um, Revelation, it says there'll be a new heaven, mm -hmm. new earth, right. new, new Jerusalem coming down. Mm -hmm. And so what it is, um, it's all the nations gathered together into the family of God. And, you know, those who accepted Jesus Christ and basically, you know, um, and Jesus came so that he took everybody in there. And, you know, it's kind of funny where, where they were talking about Jews and, and on that night. And uh, he said there's a, there's Jews that are black, mm. Jews that are Asian, mm. Jews that are Ethiopian. Ethiopia. Yeah. There's yeah. Jews that, that are, you know, from different places. You know, they're coming from Russia. They're coming from Germany. They're coming from California, United States. They're coming all over the different places. And um, so we're all, you know, we're all grafted in that, like you said. Mm -hmm. We're all the child of God in that heritage. You know, when he says Israel, he's talking to all of us now. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's not like we're separated. We're all together now. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, that's so important to what my brother just said is that I know a lot of people, a lot of people, the old school people, probably maybe new school people too, they think, well, gee, you know, why does the Lord pick Israel and not us? Man, we love, we love the Lord Jesus Christ and we love God. Well, it doesn't mean that, that the Lord doesn't love you and doesn't That's care. Right. He loves you. He loves you with all his heart. It's just that he, from the beginning, he chose the Jewish people. I don't know why That's he did. Right. You're going to have to ask them that when you get to heaven. But Amen. I just know one thing he's shown me. He says, don't ever feel like you're less. Because I haven't picked you over over Israel, you, when you became a part of Jesus Christ and you accepted him into your heart, you became Israel. Amen. You became through His blood, Amen. and that blood seals it. It mm. seals it in my eyes. It seals it in the way I think about you and about Israel. You are one. You yes. are one. Yes. If anything, you you are you are the, the the tiny brother or sister of uh, your big sister brother Israel. Mm. So mm. you're just a your brother and mm. sister, but you're still in the same family. Amen. But you're maybe the tiny brother and the tiny sister. And you mm. have an older brother, which is Israel, and the older sister, which is Israel. That's right. That's right. Oh, 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 oh. And so here today, oh. I, wait, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. I just want to even in, inject more, even more what you said. It's like, um, it's like, you know, um, okay, you know, you can have your... Uh, what do you call it? The blood, mm. um, you know, your blood uh, family, you know, people who are there, mm. you have your adopted family. Well, you know what? It's like when we accept Jesus, the Spirit comes in here. So it's like, um, it's like Jesus is like almost like the, the sperm, I would say. Mm. You know, we're, mm. we're grafted in That's right. spiritually. That's right. We're spiritually in there. We're mixed, injected in there. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. So that's what I want to say. Yeah. Cool. Well, well, here I have uh, just uh, I don't know if everybody can see it. I don't know, maybe I can, um, there we go. Yeah. What it is is called a shofar, and what it is, if I turn it up this way, imagine a ram cool. at the end of this, cool. and it's his horn, and it's called a shofar. And what they do, it was used to, to go out into for celebrations and for battle. Mm. And I think I have a little thing on it, and I think you have something there too that you put together. 
Um, I'm not sure if he did it or not, but I'll just read the scripture and what it says, and then you'll see what I'm talking about. And so what it says, it's Numbers 10, 7, and the, I guess the, they're saying, however, when the community is to be assembled, you are to sound, mm. but don't sound an alarm. It will be the sons of Aharam and Kohanim who mm. are to sound the trumpets. Mm. Who are to sound the trumpets. These oh. are the trumpets that they're oh. talking about. Oh. This will be a permanent regulation for you through all your generations. Oh. So the Lord wants this sound. Amen. When we have these, 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 these are wars or whatever it is or, or celebrations, this is the issue, the Spirit of God. Mm. And I may just do a little bit and see if I can get it going. That's kind of hard to do, but I'll try it. Mm. It's hard. Yeah, it is hard. That's how I go. That's real hard to do this unless you know what you're doing. Yeah. I need a lot of practice. But anyway, this is the shofar that's used for battle or for celebrations or for victory. And this is this is especially at this time, this is something that the Lord values a lot too, to hear that sound of showing that his victory, his victory through all oh. things. Still echoing. Oh, good, Lord. <laughs> more, Lord, more. But I thought it was kind of neat. It's like a ram's horn, you know? It's just a ram's horn. That's, That's what right. it is. That's right. But, but that little ram it. horn makes that. a lot of noise. It huh? sure does. Oh. Oh. Anyway, they have bigger ones. Do you, did you have something on the site there to share something about uh, Rosh Hashanah, or you didn't? That's uh, all right. Well, well, well today, today we're, we're in that time of Rosh Hashanah. I just want to say that um, if you look at Rosh Hashanah, it talks about... Um, it's a new year, and um, I had a, a little thing here about uh, Rosh Hashanah. It talks a little bit about it and what they did, but uh, I like this one here where it talks about it. This is from Ask, Ask Moses on it. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but he, he talked about, um, let's see here, right here where he said that, that Rosh Hashanah, uh, uh, we, we blow the ram's horn on mm. Rosh Hashanah to declare um that we involve God to be the Tsar of our king of the new year. And uh so this is a new year. So the old year has passed away. So what I want to say prophetically, if if you had a year of famine, brokenness, uh despair and stuff, um I want to declare this is a new year for you today. Mm -hmm. That's my prophetic word to you mm -hmm. people out there. Now, this is a new year. So when the Lord declares that, but then when he says, when you blow the ram's horn, and then um, you declare God to be king for the new year, that you give him first. The scripture says that, um, seek ye first the kingdom of God, then all these things will be added unto you. So when we put him first, head, and say, okay, God, we declare it. This is your new year, Lord. I'm entering into a new season. Yes, Lord. New season. And some of you people have been through the desert. The Lord says, it's time. You know, brothers, sisters, uh, there are seasons. Ecclesiastic it talks about. There's a season when a season to mourn, season to be in the wilderness. But then this is a season to be out of the wilderness. This is a new year. So pray. This, You know, I, I suggest... Get in your face and pray and ask God, okay, what is it that you seek of me of this new year, Father God? What is it? And the Lord says he's calling some of you people out of that place now. You know, there's a term in, 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 or a saying in, in, the, in, the, in the, we'll keep it on right now. Oh, okay, sure. uh, there's, a, there's a saying that, uh, you can see it up there, Teshuvah, and it's an awakening of our spiritual slumber. Mm. And reminding us to turn back to God's ways. Mm. And a lot of us are in a spiritual slumber for whatever reason. Mm. Maybe we were the prodigal son, or maybe we just we got dis disenchanted, or we something happened in our lives, went through a divorce, or 
you know, we just somebody died in our family or whatever it was, and we got thrown off. But this is a time now, if if, if you're willing to, is to come back to the Lord. And the Lord's willing to, to heal you, to heal you, and, and to call you and close to his heart, and to take you. And I just have a picture right now. Lord, just show me a picture. He's grabbing people, and he's grabbing by the, mm. you know how a mother would grab her infant light when it was born by the back of its head? Right. But the Lord has shown me he's grabbing different people out there, women and men, and he's grabbing the back of their heads, and he's pulling it close to his heart. Mm. And he's like, they're in like in a swaddle clothes. They're like a baby again. Mm. And the Lord just has his arm underneath. Uh, they're behind, but he has the, the other hand on top of the forehead, I mean, the top of the back of the head, pushing their face close to his heart. Mm. And I, I know the Lord wants to do that with a lot of you out there, a lot of you out there that are, that are hurting, that have uh, went through a lot of things in, in your lifetime. You know, you, I don't know how old you are, but you went through a lot of things, and it's been really hard for you. But the Lord wants you to know that he loves you, and he wants to save you, and he wants to heal you. He says, I want to heal you. I want to heal your land. I want to heal everything that has happened in your life. I want to make you whole again. But all you have to do is just turn to him and say, here I am, Lord. I don't know how to do it the right way, but here I am. Please have mercy on me. Yes. yes. And when you come to God with a heart like that, yes. he just pours it out. He bends over backwards for you. Mm. He's that kind of God. You know. And the thought I get, brother, is that remember when the, 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 the father and the son, the prodigal son, he left home and he, he spent all his fortune out oh. there. And then he came back and he had nothing. And he was penniless. He was eating with the hogs and he was eating with the hogs were eating. And he said to himself, gee, you know, I'm going to go back to my dad's. At least I could be a hired hand there and, and not have to eat, and eat these, these pods like these pigs that these hogs are eating. And I don't have to sit outside and have the rain oh. hit me and, and, not, and not have any clothes and be mm. filthy all the time. So he came back to his dad and his dad seen him from afar. And he came and he asked his dad if he could just work for him. And his dad just like had tears in his eyes. And he, he just said, no, he says, come here, you're a part of me. He grabbed him with all his filth and the way he, all the filth he had on the inside and the outside. He hugged him and says, no, we'll put new robes on you. We'll put a, a, a ring on your finger. And he says, and we'll have a big, we'll have a big feast for you because you came back. Hmm. And that's the way the Lord feels about us. When we've done those things in our life, we can still come back to him. Mm -hmm. And he's calling out to you today. Oh. Just reach out. Just say, Lord, here I am. I blew it, Lord. Now, you don't have to tell him a whole list. Just I blew it, Lord. Here I am. That's what he's telling me to tell a bunch of people. Also. There's a fact. There's a person named by the name of Rick. Rick, he wants you to just lay it down right now. Oh. He says he wants to touch your heart right now. He knows what you've done. You don't have to give him a big, long whole thing. He knows everything you've done. He's seen it. He's been there with you when you've done it. He's always been there with you. He's not approved of it, but he's always been there watching. Right. He's always with us, everybody, no matter where we take him. Where are you oh. taking him today? Oh, that's right. And I'm not just talking about a bar or a place where you shouldn't be. Where are you taking him inside of you? Amen. 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 Oh, that's heaven, brother. That's heaven. Thank you, Lord. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Ooh. So wherever you're at right now, the Lord wants to let you know that it's a new year for you. Yes, Lord. A new year. Yes, Lord. A new prophetic year. Yes, Lord. Whatever you're going through today. Yes, Lord. And for that moon. And, you know, uh, I did a song for, for the kids this morning. Uh, it was called Blessed Be the Name of the Lord. Mm. Um in the land of plentiful and um, the Lord's drawing us into the land of plentiful he says that seek me and you'll find me mm. in the land of plentiful mm. cool so there's new things coming to you people out there mm. he says those who are mourn will be comforted those who are humble humble will be lifted up mm. Some of you people have been humble. The Lord's going to lift you up now. Mm. Some of you people who who've been prideful are going to be humble. Mm. The Lord says that um, He's reversing the change, but He's He's causing the newness to happen now. Mm. Newness to happen to you. Oh, I like that. Mm. Oh. So you know, and so we, you know, we'd like to see what your views about yes. what, what we're talking about, and if you have any thoughts on how we could improve 
and what we're doing. And we appreciate your thoughts and your, your opinions. But we just ask that you bless Israel today. Amen. And that you just pour out your heart towards God and that you would just let him know that you're here and you're, you're waiting for him or you're ready to, to come to him. And he will turn he'll turn to you and he'll open up your heart and he'll he'll do what he has to do. He'll fix the things that need to be fixed. Mm. It's all gonna be okay. That's right. I feel like uh, there's somebody out there who wants okay. to accept the Lord. So um we always try to leave with a broadcast of that to, for anybody who wants to accept the Lord. Mm. Um we're coming to close to to the the uh, you know, what is it, uh, September of two thousand eleven, but almost toward the end, but um, the Lord, the Messiah, is coming, brothers and sisters. Mm. And um, now is the time to accept Him, mm. to accept Him as Lord and Savior. So uh, those who want to accept Him right now, just, just here, you want to do the same sure. prayer, brother? All you just repeat after me, dear Lord Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me for all my sins. I ask that you forgive me of my sins. I believe that you died on the cross. I ask that you died on the cross. And I believe that you rose again from the dead. I believe that you rose again from the dead. Please, Lord, come into my heart. Please, Lord, come into my heart. Make things all new again. Make things all new again. I humble myself before you. I humble myself. And I know that you are King and God of my life. I know you're king and God. And Father, I ask that you do me an extra favor. I ask that you do me a favor. Send the Holy Spirit upon me to Send teach me, to, teach me. To, comfort me. to comfort me, to bless me, to bless me. In Jesus' cool. name. In Jesus' name. Cool. Cool. I felt that. Yeah. If you would just accept the Lord, write to us. Yeah, let us, let know, us know. Let us know that I got saved, mm. you know, and, and I'm in the kingdom. Let us know. Tell somebody. Mm. Cool. Thanks. Tell us so, so you know that we can share this with your brother and sister. We can cool. share with others. So cause cool. people need to be encouraged. If you've accepted the Lord today, others need to hear about your testimony. Give That's us your right. testimony. Right. If you have a testimony, email it to us. And we'll pray over it and we'll pray with you. And if you'd like, we'll, we'll, we'll share the testimony. If you don't, that's fine, too. Cool. But just let us have a testimony of what the Lord has done for you in your life. Cool. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. So we bless, bless you. you. We, we bless, bless you. you. We, we bless, bless you. you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.